911, what's your emergency? Uh, I heard this loud knocking at my door, so I went to go check it out. And I'm looking out the window right now. It's a guy that looks just like me. me. Trick or treat, smell my feet, subscribe to me or lose your teeth. What is that? <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. Everybody know that subscribing is an option, but is it really an option when you are here? I don't know. Let's think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I'm literally behind you inside of your closet, watching you as you watch this video. Didn't you notice how conveniently your closet was cracked? So we are faced with a situation. You can neither hit that subscribe button. I promise. <laughs> or should you choose not to hit that like button? But what may happen, you may say? Well, let me briefly explain to you what may happen. <laughs> What's up, Zilla King? And welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back with another episode of Terror Tuesday. What is that? You know, the series where we come together as a family and we watch some short horror films. And since Halloween coming up, it's the perfect time. Speaking of Halloween, wait, I gotta show you guys something. Check this out. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre figurine, bro. It got the little mask in there. It got him, look at him right there looking big as hell. He's still thick, even as a figurine. Bro, it even got his chainsaw. It got all his utensils that he used to murder people. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. And it comes with another head. Nothing can top this. Nice. So, we have a long ride ahead of us in this episode of Turn Tuesday. So I hope you guys got your snacks and every, 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 every. Hello? Hello? Where is this place? What was that? But like I was saying, we have a long adventure in this video. So you guys go get y'all snacks and whatever y'all need. And what I am going to get... Yo, and now that the gang is here, now we can get started on the first film. So guys, the first short horror film that I have for you is called Lost Dog by Burt Mill Road. Take a look at this thumbnail. You cannot tell me that this does not look scary. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. I think I did a good job picking out this because you guys did not want to send me anything. Here we go, guys. Burnt Mill Road. I would never want to live there. It's like equivalent to Silent Hill. Thanks for helping me out, man. Yeah. I can't believe she just ran off. Why y'all looking for a dog at night? Help. Nah. You're the only one who responded. <laughs> He's too happy for somebody who lost their dog. Man, turn around. Lucy. You're his lost dog. Lucy! Let's go down there. I should always like to be down there. <laughs> This man, something is wrong with this man. He's way too happy for somebody who lost their dog. Look how happy his face looks. This is the face of a man who just got a new PlayStation 5 and a gaming PC. There. <laughs> right, here we go, guys. I'm sorry. Look how happy is he. down here. Bro. You're following him. Is that a graveyard? Lucy. Oh my god, this man is transforming. Uh, oh my god. I have to tell you something. You're such a nice man. 
Not a nice lead. I'm about to pump you with lead. Stop playing with me. Where Lucy at? He's transforming. Run. I don't have a dog. He's giving me Jeffrey Dahmer vibes. Run. Oh, you're too nice, though. You're way too nice. You should run now, lad. Yeah. Before what the fuck you think this is? This is like Twilight. Run, man. Oh, my God. What is he doing? He's... What, is, what are you doing? He told you to run. He warned you. What in the goddamn hills have eyes is that? Bro, this man is going to take your body. Your body. It's his now. Look at him. Look at how he danced behind that little thing. Run, bro. You're going to watch him. You're watching him do this and shit. Oh, my God. God, bro. Now he want to run. After the, after the man got all close to you. Oh, my God. He deserved what he got, bro. He's still walking and shit. This man then turned into a goddamn deer. What is he, beast boy? Bro, this man is warping. Ah! The cameraman deserved all of that. Not only did you come out there to help somebody to find that dog that late at night. But you got the nerve to not run when he told you to run? Yeah, he deserved that. I'm not even worried about him. Let's go to the... What the fuck? He put me inside of this alternate universe. Okay guys, so the next short horror film that we have is called Pleasant Inn by David Romero. Honestly, I look at the thumbnail before watching any type of film because the thumbnail says a lot about how scary this film may be. Or maybe not. But this one, I can't really say what it's gonna be. But it's animated and I like it. Here we go guys. Cruising in a whip. Cruising, Cruising down, the down the street in my six phone. Boy, if you don't- Oh yeah, I'm ready. But why the hell? Oh my god, look at the art style. The art style, I love it. She gonna see somebody standing right in front of the car. That is always the case. Watch. See? See? Lady, continue to go. Why are you doing? Why are you pulling over? She got a white dress on with black long hair. I know you've seen the ring. Oh my god, this girl looks like she belongs in Residence Evil. She locked her door. Why did you stop in the first place? Why did you stop in the first place? She done got your license plate and everything. She knows you now at this point. Damn, her chin look like my elbow. Oh my god, girl. Pleasant in. Anything that got pleasant at the beginning, I'm telling you. It ain't pleasant. Okay. She getting her key. She had to check in right quick. First, hold on. Look, guys, just this little bit is giving me the vibes of a game that I played on a channel called Daily Night, the puppet combo game, 
we check in at this motel and a bunch of weird shit start happening and the guys start recording us while we taking a shower it was weird you guys have to go see that go check that out after playing that game i'm not arriving to any motel without a shotgun why would you be here by yourself and you are a woman take a shotgun a taser and hope you know how to do jackie chan kicks all right guys let's see what's gonna happen i know some bs is gonna happen This man look like Max Payne. Oh my god. Yo, that art style was so amazing. Look at the colors and everything. Gotta appreciate good art. Okay. Mind your business. She dressed like a hooker. Don't wave to me. Oh, she w she's very nice and kind. You're very nice. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, and it looks like the room from Deadly Night 2. Yes, it looks exactly like the Deadly Night room. Wow. Look, they even got the mirror. That is crazy. The mirror, like the movement in the mirror is crazy. Okay. Oh my god. Damn, okay, you look kinda she look like Abby from The Last of Us. <laughs> She's strong as shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, here go the girl. There go the girl. Oh my goodness. Hooker, you better go back inside of your room. Oh my goodness. Bloody feet and all. She's been walking for yet. Her head fell off! Whoa! There goes the hooker. What did she do to her? Oh my god! She took over the hooker's body. Oh. Lady, I hope you are not nice enough to go open up that door. Yep, yep, that's right. Smart move, make the call. Oh my goodness! She is like a centipede. She hopped out of her body and left her head. Oh my freaking goodness. They hit the bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. Yes, yes, yes. Close the door. Get that window open. Why didn't she close the door? Okay, Max Payne. Okay, Max Payne. Oh my god. This this girl got Spider-Man reflexes. Oh! Run, 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 run. Get out of there. Get, go, go, go. Bro. This is intense. Oh, my God. She got him. Man down. None of our business. Stay quiet. Peep the situation before you go out there. Shorty probably right in that shadow, though. Oh, hey, this beat is kind of fly. That beat going hard. Man, don't even ask me why, but yes, yes, this beat so nice. Oh, she killing the vibe. No Kendrick Lamar. Drive away. Drive away. You about to die to a nice beat, though. Drive away, man. That lady is what? Not her, her eyeball hanging out and shit. What's she gonna do? Y'all see this in? Don't ever go here. What's she about to do? He's taking over his body. We can tell that that's not him because you got red hair. Look like you're an emo kid. 
Hey, oh, here he go. He gonna be walking now. Wow. And man, like a eat. She, <laughs> she made. She turned him emo so, so many, many times, times that I tried. tried. Bro, don't do it. This man looked like young Joel. He pulled over, and now we are about to be on some repetitive type shit. You Whoa! pulled over for somebody who looked like that? The moral of the story is, any motel, hotel, inn, or whatever it is, that have the word pleasant at the beginning, they on some demonic shit. Hello? I remember him. I he tricked me. That's right. 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 I have to get back to the Zilla game. They might they think might that's, that's really me. me. Okay, guys, this next short horror film is called Number One Fan by Joe Eastley. I don't know why this girl is shocked inside of the thumbnail, but I want to find out why. What? I kind of just scared myself just saying some shit like that. <laughs> Number one fan. She got a nose ring and everything. Okay, girl. Okay. Get it, I guess. It's raining. Oh, she got a nice little phone case. Oh, is that her phone? I'm sweating because I know it's going to be on that bullshit. Yeah, It's raining outside. That's already setting a scary mood for me. Oh, you can see her phone and shit on her. That's kind of dangerous. If you're cheating and shit, you see that on it. <laughs> you caught. Uh-oh. Oh, she looking at it like, what the fuck? What is that, guys? Like, what? How do you do something like that? Teach me, cause I would want to put my phone on my wall. That would be fine as hell. Huh? That would be fine as hell. Guys, my commentary be busted sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's see what happened, bro. Best keep your windows locked, winky face. <laughs> Oh my god, I hope you got your windows locked. Come the fuck on. Her windows locked. The fact that he gave her a winky face though. The winky face is so passive aggressive for a killer. It's like saying I'm going to kill you with a knife. Winky face. Don't follow them. Don't block them either because you want to know what's going on. Oh, she blocked them. She said, I'm cutting all ties. Understandable, but you got your curtains open and everything. Where are your parents at? Or are you living by yourself? Not the payphone. I'm at a payphone waiting to go your home. Got my knife all sticking you. Girl, you... <gasps> Lights out, baby. <laughs> he got you, bro. That little ass TV making all that noise. This man is a hacker too? You're dead. I seen the purge. Oh my god. What is that? Is that her? Yes! Wow! So this person is following her. This situation already is tight. This man already got access to her house. He didn't cut off her TV. Turned on her. On her TV. Pause, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. This man watched her for hours. I like her rings on her finger. Bro. 
I just mix, I just mixed like wow and bro together. I said bro. Bro. This man followed her all the way home. He followed her all the way home. It ain't safe. You never know when this man is following you. He stayed watching her house all day. Let's see. If it shows him going into her house, he's already in there. He's watching her while she sleep. Let's look. Close your window curtains. Jeez, woman. You got your windows curtains all open. Who does that? This man already there. Nine nine nine. Who the hell is she calling? Satan? Oh my god, we got an ad at a wrong time. Nine nine nine. Who who is that? The devil? Emergency. Which service? Police. Oh, that's Please. where she located at. UK. Police emergency. Oh my god. He got a fuck. Oh my god. He was already in your house. I can hear breathing. Are you able to talk to me? Yep. Hello. She slept with her window unlocked. Such a novice move. She, at that moment, she knew that she was done for. Can you call for me if you're in danger? Just send a unit, man. Holy! Oh my God! Have you been injured? He gonna show him right behind her. Hang up. Either way, he gonna kill you. I'm just into this. Like, take selfie three second timer. God, this man dressed like the organization 13. Where's Sora at? We need him. <laughs> oh my God. Not you taking toe pictures. We don't want to see that. <laughs> Them bunions you got. Oh, don't cry now. No tears. You got no tears. He ain't gonna show no mercy on you. Not one tear came out of your eye. <laughs> the fake ass cried. Girl. Oh my god. My God! Oh, wow. He cut her neck. No disrespect. He said, don't you try to call the po-po-ho. 
That's a no-go That's a no-go Now you know <laughs> I would've took my chances At that point, I would've took my chances I would've called the police and said This motherfucker is behind me And I would've straight out started swinging She didn't even fight back she just let the man kill her. Couldn't be me. If I ever get famous on YouTube, guys, and my number one fan think that they can come up in here, let me show y'all what y'all gotta deal with. Okay. This right here, I like to call Gadolina. Gadolina don't play. She's very overprotective. She's a Scorpio, and she does not play. If you come in here with all of that crazy stuff, I'm gonna hit you with a pow pow. Matrix. Pow pow. Matrix. What is that? Ow! Don't play games with me! Okay guys, so the next short horror film that I have for you is called A Terrifying Morning Jog by Llama Arts. I have never seen a video from these people before, but I'm trying to watch a lot more animated films because there are a lot of animated films that are horrifying. Like the film that we watched in the last one called I Heard It Too. That film was terrifying. Let's see what we're about to get into. A Terrifying Morning Jog. Okay, here we go. This story is told from the perspective of a woman. Before heading to my local community college for classes, I'd like to wake up at around 5 in the morning for a brisk morning jog. 5 it in the morning though? Yes! It definitely helps wake me up so I can focus in class. Yeah, when you go to focus in doing class. This, it was a huge hassle. All right, they're going to slash your ass up. To it, and it's now a highlight of my day. Oh my god, However, girl, are you as crazy? time went on, I found myself becoming quite uncomfortable. Not in a physical sense, but I felt quite uncomfortable. Man, shut your bitch. It is 5 a.m. Why are you jogging at 5 a.m.? Shut your stupid ass. You might as well jog inside Jeffrey Dahmer's apartment at this point. When I first started doing this, it was a huge hassle. But over time, I grew Bro. accustomed to it, and it's now a highlight of my day. However, as time went on, I found myself becoming quite uncomfortable. Yeah, it's definitely uncomfortable. Not in a physical sense, but more so it was like my fight or flight instincts began kicking in seemingly at random. Yeah, you got that alien shape head. I put my head around to see if anybody was following yeah, me whip or your head. peeking at me through Willow. the wooded park in which I ran but couldn't see anybody. It didn't help that it was dark either. So even if there was somebody creeping in the dark, there was no way I could tell. As an extra precaution, I started carrying around some pepper spray in order to fend off any would-be attackers. But as time went on pepper and spray. that eerie sensation occurred this is crazy. more and more, I just couldn't bring myself to run anymore. A friend of mine, Daniel, a self-proclaimed runner himself, told me that I shouldn't worry about it. He said that the mind plays tricks on oneself when it can't see things clearly, He's the one that's especially chasing Especially in the dark. After being reassured by him, I decided to give jogging another go. Guys, if I'm right about him being the one that chased her, I deserve a subscription and I deserve a like on this video. After being reassured by him, I decided to give jogging another go. Here we go. So today, like any other she day, I cute, slapped though. on some black leggings, tied my hair up in a ponytail, put on my kicks, and set my music volume to full blast and headed out the door. Full blast, bro. I felt bro. fantastic at first and was loving the cool breeze and crisp morning air. But then, oh about halfway into my jog, a tall and hooded figure stepped out onto the path in front of me. That's him! Quickly, I pulled out my pepper spray and yelled at the person to leave me alone. The person quickly pulled down their hood, revealing themselves to be Daniel. I sighed with relief as he approached and laughed at how funny it was that we ran the same path. I expressed to him that I felt safer knowing wow. he was around. Daniel, however, stepped a little too close and gave a crooked smile. He said that of course I was safe with him, as apparently wow. I had been safe with him for weeks. The realization of what he meant quickly dawned on me as his hands began to creep their way around my waist. 
I screamed at him to let me go and prepared to spray him, but he slapped it out of my hand and proceeded to grab my- OH! With strange screams, I begged him to let me go. Oh my god, him. and he got he Michael Myers strength. tightened his grip, asking why I wasn't thankful for his watchful eyes for the past several weeks. Cause you could have been stunned at the running with her instead of hiding. Once gentle friend I knew. Pretty soon, I started to black out and grow weak. But just before passing out, I could hear the sounds of dogs barking and an older man screaming for Daniel to let me go. In a panic, he released me and ran back into the woods. You I are so fucking lucky. Before I began sobbing, as the do not jog at 5 a.m. Why do y'all think it's cool to stay outside 10 p.m. by yourself? What is wrong with y'all? That's when the killers be out there. They be waiting for people like you. Gasped for air before I began sobbing, as the man yeah, I will cry too. Park and brought me straight to the police station. And despite my fears and reservations, I told them everything I knew about Daniel, or what I thought I knew, and what he had done to me. They immediately sent a patrol car out and told me that everything would be okay. The next day, I heard Daniel never showed up to class. Of course he, he was arrested several hours later after I left the police station and confessed to everything with a disgusting amount of self-righteousness. He was recorded as saying, She needed me. Only I can protect her. Who knows what could have been hiding in those woods. Oh uh, yeah, you it was gonna choke the shit out of her. Comfortable going back to school, and even then, my trust in people was never the same again. I guess even the ones you were close to can snap. Just that's like a fact. That that's a fact. Time. Mm. The moral of the story, man: Don't jog outside at 5 a.m. If you get a weird feeling, follow your. I walk. I walk. I walk. I walk. I walk till I smell my house. Okay guys, so the next show horror film that we have is called A Smiling Woman's Story by ACM Official. Now I've seen a video kind of like based off the concept of The Smiling Woman. This is probably like the same thing. Let's see. Alright, 1am. Okay. At a train station, I see. With her friend. They look good. Oh. Oh, she was in your camera. Where your friend go? It is 1.01 a.m. and we are here at the infamous train station of the first sighting of the smiling right. woman. Wow, you're doing a documentary? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god. I'm sitting at the very bench where her first victim sat. Wow. What's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. That's her! Oh, she's great. Dude, where did you hire her from? I didn't. What? I didn't hire her. Whoop! Ooh! Y'all too fine to be dying. Where is she? There. This girl got Sasuke, the yellow flash, skill. Read this. You like my yellow dress? Oh my god. I know how this ends. I'm out. Her friend no. hit the dash on her. Her friend hit the dash on her. That's what I'm talking hey. about. She got a lot of black in her. She got a lot of black in her for that. Ooh! Ooh, girl! I, I kind of like the smiling woman. I kind of like... <laughs> Girl, stop playing with me. Huh? All right, man. You're in a predicament no, now. Your no. friend got out of there. That's your friend? No. Your friend? If your friend's smiling too, she set you up. Damn. Psych. Zoe?
Oh my god, that's a nice little dance. You learned that from TikTok? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god. Now y'all all now y'all all smiling. That was kinda unfair that she jumped at me when I did nothing wrong. And there I was, there I was standing, standing outside, outside my, door, my door hearing me. Oh my god, that's a nice little dance. You like that from TikTok? Okay guys, so the last short horror film that we are going to watch in this episode of Terror Tuesdays is Shudder. This is a film by Alter and I've watched a lot of Alter films on this channel. They have some fire ass concepts. It is amazing. Let's see what this one is about. I'm very interested in this one. Here we go guys. Shudder. This one better be fire. It's the last one of this episode. Okay, we are inside of this dark ass apartment mmm look at his shoes though the man look like he about to start tap dancing okay locking his door okay yeah he's just enjoying a regular day at home wow man what he gonna do what type of demonic shit going to happen inside this apartment? Ah. His printer going off by itself. It's time for you to buy a new printer. Where you got that from? An antique shop or something? Oh, man. This man. What happened, bro? Let's see what happened. What is the picture? What is the picture about... I'm the anticipation is killing me. Oh my god. They took a picture of him holding the picture. Huh? Uh, what is up there? You have nothing. Oh! You have nothing but a dark shadow upstairs. Turn your lights on. You live by yourself and all your lights are, are off. Who can do that? Like, I, I, I don't get it. Are you trying to shit yourself? Like, do you need some downy or something to wash all the shit off your clothes? I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting emotional. This man is crazy. Oh, his lights don't work. So, why he look like the old guy from GTA? <laughs> Oh my god. Don't. But that light works though. That ghost playing with you at this point. Let me get the pistol ready. Gotta get the pistol ready. The pistol ready. Oh my god. No! You got a gun in your house since you live alone? Okay, he he calm. I'm calm too. I put the I put the blicky down. He calm. I'm calm. Oh shit! He gonna turn around, and that's gonna be the picture that they catch. Ah shit! Ah shit! Oh my god. Oh my glitching goodness. Oh. Do people still carry cameras like that? Like the little cameras that the pictures come out 
and you gotta shake it like that? Why don't you just use your iPhone or something? Like, are you trying to have ghosts come at you because you wanna carry old antique shit? Yes. Shut your stupid- Okay, guys. Whew. That's gonna be it for this episode of Terror Tuesday. Guys, let's get this video to 15 likes. That's not even much. 15 likes? Come on, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you stuck around till this point of the video, you might as well give this video a like. Okay, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Be sure to punch the shit out of that subscribe button to become a part of the Zilla game. I love you guys, and until, and until next, next time, time, peace out. What are you doing here? Say, 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 say.